Hey guys, what's going on? Jonah Bunch here with Bunch's Diesel Performance. We're going to give you all a quick rundown on a truck we just finished up for a good customer of ours. His name is Gary Estes. Um, Gary's got this 2003 model Dodge 3500 two-wheel drive. This truck is used to pull his camper all over the country. Him and his family go camping quite a bit. Um, instead of buying a new truck, Gary's like, you know what? This truck's going to be good for many years. I want to fix it up, get a little bit more power, a little more reliability out of it and keep on pushing it so that's what we did so let's get into how we what all we done for him all right guys so like i said this is a 2003 model dodge 3500 uh super low to the ground it's actually pretty good fuel mileage with that <clears throat> keeping it so tucked down to the ground but like i said when we got this truck 2003 model gary's had it about 10 or 12 years um you know truck had, had done him good pulled a lot of stuff but just was starting to lose some power not really getting the fuel mileage he thought he ought to get so he brought it to us we got it in there checked it out for him truck started out when we first got it, it was bone stock not a thing done to this truck so it out uh we'll stack so we'll start the back of the truck um <clears throat> the exhaust system that was on it was all rotted and rusted out uh still had the factory muffler and everything on it. so we got him hooked up with a four inch uh exhaust kit with a muffler um, <clears throat> this truck also, we put a inline exhaust brake on for him. So let me see if I can get under here. I'll put, I'll tag a picture of this on here, but I'll see if I can get a quick video shot of it. You'll see that it's got the valve on top, switching the cab. So it'll allow him to use his exhaust brake. Like I said, you said the full. Four inch all the way back. Super clean truck under here too for its age. All right, got the exhaust exhaust brake kind of working around the way around this side here. Uh, wanted to do some fuel upgrades to this truck, get a little more power out of it. I was having a little bit of injector problems, so we decided to go ahead and upgrade him. So in order, when we went ahead and upgraded the injectors, we opted to go ahead and do a fast fuel system too. So this truck has a fast 165 gallon per hour fuel system on it. didn't load on there so you can't see it but um to get rid of the factory filtration system like i said it's not not real good on these trucks um so then we're going to kind of work our way into the engine bay here so uh this is going to be the air compressor and his, his tank is down down under this front fender or down under this bumper here if you can see that um that is going to be all of his stuff for running the exhaust brake. So our compressor kicks on, fills the tank up. He flicks the switch in his cab. The valve opens and closes based upon the RPMs of the truck. It's wired into the ECM of the truck. So then when you let off the throttle, it kicks the exhaust brake on when you want it. So pretty cool system. The wiring is just, there's just a whole lot of it. And there's, I mean, like I said, we got it all tidied up through here as much as we can. Um, generally pretty particular on wiring stuff. It's just, there's so much of it you can't really hide everything so um that being said working our way across um smb cold air intake dry filter went ahead and upgraded his turbo this is one of the bd kits this is an s461 sxe charger you can see it's starting to get a little blue where it has some test driving miles on it really woke this truck up um all of our turbo kits for cummins bd i don't know if you watch this or not the bolts that you send in your kits and they're terrible they, they back out they don't work good so we've started a, a few months ago every turbo kit we do on a cummins is going to get these fleece studs so uh it's a, it's a small it's about 200 bucks upgrade but it's super super nice for not having to redo anything so like i said you don't have to worry about bolts backing out it's just it is what it is but like i said the uh, the bd two-piece manifold there with the bd um 361 sxc charger so for those of you all that do not know and want to do this job at home if you've got a 03 or 04 model truck and i think even 05s you've got to get the 06 and up downpipe because the factory downpipe that is on these trucks will not work 
So you can get the exhaust kit, but then you need to order the downpipe separately. So just make sure you know that. If you, anybody wants the part numbers for that downpipe or exhaust or anything else on this kit, shoot us a message. We'll send you those parts if you want to buy them from us. Good. If not, you know we're, we're more than happy to help you out. So get back to this. Um, like I said, we got the air took care of. Fuel side, we got the fast fuel system. You can see it feeding into a. There you go. Feeds into the factory CP3 because we had no problems out of that. Um, injectors, we updated to dynamite. Diesel's 15% over injectors. Like I said, not a crazy amount of power above factory, but plenty enough for this turbo. <clears throat> We've actually not run any tuning on this truck yet. Uh, he wants to get it, test it out, see what he likes. You know, I, I drove it around a day or two just to kind of get out all the kinks and make sure I, I, there was no leaks, anything like that. Truck drives super good with stock tuning. Um, we may do some uh, some custom tune on it to get a little more timing in it and uh, maybe get the fuel in a little bit early, but for what it is, it, it does super well, very responsive. Um, so this truck is also a manual transmission, uh, six speed. So we also, while we was in here doing all this stuff, the truck still had the factory clutch in it. So we upgraded and went to a, uh, <laughs> South Bend, sorry, blank there for a second. South Bend, 650 horsepower, dual disc quiet clutch. Uh, uh, clutch is super quiet, good drivability. Pedal's easy to work with. Um, so yeah, like I said, guys, it's a super nice old truck. Like I said, you don't see <clears throat> trucks that are this age that, are, that have been took this good of care of. And like I said, people that, that like their stuff took care of, they know where to bring it. Um, Give y'all another shot around through here. Like I said, any questions y'all have on any of the modifications, feel free to reach out. Um, so there's nothing, nothing spectacular about it. It's just like I said, it's simple, it works, it's functional, and that's what we like. You know, there's no need in having a bunch of extra stuff that you don't need. Get it the way you want it, and let it perform the way you need it to perform. Again, guys, thank y'all for watching this video. If you if you enjoyed the content and want to see some more, make sure you like and subscribe and push the little thing so that you get notifications for our channel. Like I said, this is Jonah Bunch with Bunch of Dudes Performance. We're out.